WCDX News, honoring black history with this moment of hidden history. In tonight's hidden history, we visit a small town in Florida steeped in history. It's the oldest town incorporated by blacks and it's celebrating more than 130 years of existence. Rod Carter has their story. About six miles north of Orlando, there sits a small piece of history. And it's controlled absolutely by Afro-Americans. The town of Eatonville, incorporated in 1887, the oldest African-American town in the United States. At that time, the blacks and the whites were all together in Maitland. And, and then they just wanted to have something they could call their own. It's named after Josiah C. Eaton, one of a small group of white landowners who were willing to sell their land to blacks at the time. My father built the elementary school. At 100 years old. I thank the Lord, I'm the only one still here. Ella Dinkins is the oldest living resident of a quaint one square mile community of about 2,500 people. She remembers the town in her youth. We only had dirt streets, no sidewalks. Clay, clay, clay road. Eatonville is one of the few surviving African American settlements formed in the 18th, 19th, and early 20th centuries. The mayor credits that to God and the tenacity and the perseverance of the people here. The Eatonville Historic District was designated in 1998 and added to the National Historic Registry. It's comprised of four dozen buildings around the area, including this one. But it's the spirit of the people who call this place home that keeps the history and the heritage going. Remember, this is where we came, and we can compare it from then and now. Yes, ma'am. I know I can. <laughs> In Eatonville, I'm Rod Carr. The Zora Neale Hurston Festival runs January 26th through February 3rd. They're expecting 40,000 visitors this year.